In sweep number four, we're looking at doubles number facts from zero plus zero up to nine plus nine. Now for this strategy, we're going to use 10 frames as a way to represent what we want students to think about. We basically won't use the number line. It's not that easy to think how far are you going to get to if you start here and jump, you know, a long way in front. But the 10 frames show up beautifully and we're going to use a lot of um, pairs arrangements because we're dealing with pairs, numbers that are the same. So here's our first example. This is an easier one because it's less than five. So this is all going to end up in the ones place. There won't be a tens component, of course. Three plus three. Now, we want students to visualize this without moving the counter. So the first thing I would say is, what's this going to look like? Can you picture it in your mind? If we put all these counters together, what will the answer be? We've got three here and three here. Well, if we imagine those three over there, that would make six. Realize that I'm saying over on the right hand side, because if this is a double 10 frame, this is where the 10 belongs if we've got more than nine counters. So we're going to push them this way rather than to the left. We could move these three this way and then move the red ones across, but I'm going to say it's easier to leave the blue ones in place, jump the three red ones over the top. It doesn't really matter, but students should be able to easily see that three and three is six. And as I said, we're using the pairs arrangement. We could have moved the three like that. We still get the same answer, of course, and students could picture that in their minds. But once again, putting them in pairs, using the pairs arrangement is a good way to go. All right, let's start again. And we're going to start with a number that is bigger than five. So we're going to do double seven as one of the more challenging examples. So we'll put our seven like this. Notice as with the previous example, we're starting with a rows arrangement. So we're filling a row first before we start using the second row, but we'll finish up with a pairs arrangement because the pairs obviously match doubles number facts. So seven and seven. Again, we want students to picture this before we do any moving of counters and figuring out how to handle that part. We've got a row of five here and a row of five there. Clearly, if you put those together, that would make 10. Then we have a row of two and a row of two. Two and two is four. It's, good. it's pretty easy to see this is going to be 14. So ask the students to picture it. Ask them to say what the answer is and explain it before we move any counters, even without moving counters. What's this number going to be? Now, this using this strategy in your head without the 10 frames relies on knowing that seven is made of five and two. So that's a useful thing for students to know. There are a number of different ways they could think about this, but that's a particularly useful one. All right, so when we come to moving the counters, I'm going to move these red ones out of the way. Obviously, we could have just slid the three extra blue ones across, but rather than that, that I'm going to move the red ones out of the way, put the five blue ones there, move the two red ones into there. Now we can see our seven red ones, even though they're separated, and our seven blue ones. What's the answer? That makes 10. This is four. It's 14. So a number of different ways you can talk about this. I just make the point here, and I probably should have said it earlier, all this strategizing and visualizing is a stepping stone to recalling number facts. So what we really want is no counters and 10 frames or physical resources at all, or even symbols. We just want the students to be able to say seven plus seven is 14 because I've memorized it. So this, as I say, is a stepping stone. So we use the resources to visualize what we're talking about. We use a thinking strategy to think about the numbers, but ultimately we want a recalled number fact. So you're hoping that by the end of this week, your students won't be thinking about 10 frames because they just know all the pairs from zero plus zero to nine plus nine. That's it for this video. See you next time.